Good afternoon, Mother. So welcome to the uh, mock interview uh, on behalf of DevOps Cloud Labs. Um, um, I welcome you to the interview. Um, so uh, we can start this by uh, uh, you giving me a brief about your your experience. I see that you are a, a student passed out in 2023. Um, just um, uh, tell me more about uh, what you have been doing in the last year, years of your studies and after that. Yeah, my name is Madhuro. I have my degree in BSc BSc Max Physics Chemistry in Chodavaram. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have only a telegraph because of my family is from Chennai. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm. That's why I'm one year gap. Um, uh, I will do some uh, internship in Indian Railways. That is a uh, rail because to to it's, uh, it's been eighteen days or something. Yeah. It's a good experience to me. Uh, I will do some external works in my village also. It's a like of welding or something. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Um, what is your um, uh, experience in IT? Um, because I see that in skills section you have mentioned um, some of the DevOps tool sets. So um, have you um, done any hands-on work on that? No. Uh, I I didn't uh, have to work the tools. Okay. I done my coaching in DevOps. Uh, it's, it's been three, three months alike. Yeah. Uh, I learned some uh, those tools and like coaching. Okay. Um, but I, so, I have good knowledge yeah. on those tools. Okay. Uh, let, let's start with that then. So you mentioned yeah. Jenkins and uh, uh, CICD um, and a and whole lot of uh, tool set that's been used uh, in DevOps. That's really good. So um, I wanted to um, ask you um, more about Ansible. Uh, so you have done a training. Uh, so you would have done a, a project using Ansible, right? So explain more about. I didn't really, I didn't really in any projects on Ansible. Okay. I done the coaching on. Oh, so, coaching. Okay. Then tell me more about the coaching. What What all did you cover? What all did you learn there? Yeah, uh, telling something. Ansible is a configuration management tool. Mm -hmm. uh, to Ansible, we can uh, we can uh, manage uh, all the nodes or machines in one known one host machine. Mm -hmm. um, I done to creation of users, uh, creation of files, yeah. uh, installing softwares. Yes, yeah. so many things to, we can handle uh, to Ansible. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. Um, how about uh, Prometheus and Grafana? Did you uh, in uh, build sorry install or configure or have you used it? Yeah, uh, we will install it through Kubernetes. Uh, to the Helm. Mm -hmm. uh, we will install the Grafana and the Prometheus uh, to to monitor the Kubernetes cluster. Okay. Okay. We didn't um, have any answer. Okay. Uh, so, 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 Grafana and okay. Um. So, uh, in what uh, what was the um, you said you were doing some technical um, uh, job, right? Uh, can you yeah. explain the job and uh, how do you think that job will be uh, helping you in moving into a DevOps or a IT field? Uh, I have I, I have done my coaching in DevOps. Uh, that's why mm -hmm. I'm going to the DevOps club. I think mm -hmm. it's a beautiful. Useful sector, I think, in Ansible. Okay. Uh, uh, DevOps. Yeah. That's why I'm interested in DevOps. Okay. Madhu, uh, tell me how long how long was the course and uh, what all uh, what was the mode of teaching and uh, did they have any project at the end of the course? No, oh, it's been three months. I like uh, I think mm -hmm. uh, three months or four months. I mm -hmm. didn't take in any any projects. Mm -hmm. I'm searching for internship to this okay. Group. okay. So um, uh, this is not part of the questionnaire, but um, uh, from my experience, from my advice would be, um, when you um, are a fresher uh, trying to get yeah. your first job, um, you learn about uh, uh, the technology. That's really good. But uh, what you really need is um, hands-on experience. Uh, you may not get hands-on experience by in working in enterprise um, level project, but you can. You can get that by building your own projects. So um, uh, there's no uh, substitute for hands-on experience. 
So what companies will be looking for is someone who can come with uh, um, with experience uh, from the past, who can hit the ground running, or um, they can work start working with minimal uh, you know um, learning curve. Um, so uh, uh, your resume um, list a list of tools in the skill section, but nothing in the projects section that will uh, that will interest the companies to give you a call for interview. Um, right. So that's what you should focus on. Now uh, I can keep on asking um, questions from that skill yeah, section. But... I, I have a question. Mm. Yes. Uh, I'll just my resume. Is is it good or not? Uh, your English is good. Your communication skill is good. You're um, talking well, uh, but you need to you need to build on that uh, resume uh, end to end. You need to. No, no, uh, not like that. Not like that. Uh, yeah. I want to know how, how is it my resume? Your resume. Is it good? Uh, is it good or not? It needs work, mother. Uh, if you ask me, um, like I said, uh, your resume has uh, has the um, uh, CS the DevOps. Um, uh, skills uh, and that has a list of uh, tools right uh, what companies will be looking is what you have done what you have yeah. done uh, what you have um, you know uh, worked hands on right and these tools this tool set it may be useful for uh, people to um, when the people search for particular skill set uh, the resume has to come up for that including this is helpful but beyond that, when someone opens this, when HR opens this um, resume, um, they need to know what you have done. So you definitely need to include uh, some hands-on projects that, that you have worked on. Projects like uh, uh, setting up a web app uh, and creating an end-to-end CACD pipeline, um, uh, things like that. If you if you have done hands-on, add it to your resume, that will help. Um, then, okay, but uh, how can I... How can I handle projects? Uh, I am a fresher, no? Uh, yes. There is, no. there is no one is uh, helpful to me. How see, can I do projects? See, you can you can build your. So you, I think you uh, joined this uh, mock interview um, uh, through a WhatsApp group uh, for, yeah. um, for with the cloud and uh, the DevOps and Cloud Lab, right? Yeah. So yeah. they have this mentorship program. Have a look at it. Uh, look at the program structure. So what we do is we. Uh, teach you the basics of cloud and DevOps, and then we uh, make you do four or five hands-on projects that you can add it to your resume. That projects will give you confidence. Now, when you go to an interview, uh, your confidence matters a lot. If you know uh, the basics, and if you're done hands-on projects, your confidence will increase. That will help you in your interview. That will help you to get uh, uh, a job as well. So again, I'm saying there's no substitute for hands-on experience. You can learn how much you want. You need to get your hands dirty by doing stuff by yourself. Again, there, there, are, there are lab setups that you can build yourself. If you have access to a computer, you can build it yourself. Um, how good are you with Linux? Yeah, I do some. Uh... I have some some experience that that is a basic I think. Yeah. Uh, it's a user creation, file creation, yeah. copying. Yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. Build on that. Now, basic things. Yeah. Now build on that. Um, you need to um uh, get uh, very comfortable with uh, networking because when you come when you look at uh, uh, DevOps engineer, it's uh, you need to know everything, honestly, right? Right from okay. networking. Operating system, application. Then, if you move into SRE space, you need to know uh, the uh, little bit of coding as well. You need to solve um, application uh, errors. Um, so, so it's it's jack of all trade. It's a um, bit of uh, too many tools clubbed together. Um, uh, but you can do it if you have thorough basic understanding of the cloud. You can build on that. Um, it'll take. Uh, I'm not saying that it will, it'll come easy. Um, trust me, it'll be very. You, your learning curve has to be very high. Whatever you learned in your three years, you're not BSc, computer science, right? 
No, no, it's Max Field chemistry. It's not a technical course. Okay. Then it has to be a bit more. It it has to be a bit more. Um. So um. If you have uh 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 if you um get um uh mentorship from someone who has been in this industry uh for long, and people who have been hiring DevOps engineer for their teams, then they can help you. And uh, they know when 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 you uh, ask me um. Uh, I'm working on these technology tools and technologies uh, day to day, right? So we know um, uh, when we have a requirement in our team, we look for someone who um, has the knowledge, has the hands-on experience, who can come in and help us. The, the uh, companies may not be um, ready, or uh, they may not be able to, you know, invest time and uh, money on training someone new. That's why you need to go to the company. You present yourself to the company. That you want to work for, you should have those skills. So you need to build those skills. So uh, I know this was supposed to be an interview session, um, but uh, uh, based on uh, the resume and based on the first interaction, I I thought uh, um, this this would need a bit bit more work. Um, yeah, I think it's uh, helpful to me. Yeah. So um, communication skills really good. Um, built on that, as you give more and more interview. When you build up on these skills and uh, when you do project, that will definitely increase your confidence. Yeah, to go to an uh, interview and talk about uh, these things because uh, once you build a project, right, you don't need to say that I have done a, a course uh, and um, I have only uh, knowledge about it. You can say that I've used it um, and this is what it does. This is what it achieves. Yeah, I, I use the tools. Uh, I use the tools. You can but say I, that, I don't have any project actually. Yeah, you need project experience. Um, you need project experience. There is no substitute for that. Um, uh, we have uh, mock interviews uh, with uh, uh, candidates with two and three years experience. They are trying to move on to a different role, or um, they are trying to get a um, higher position. So even they are um, in a learning curve. So once in once in this space, um, initial learning is there, but also you need to keep on learning. But uh, in your case. Um, definitely a mentorship uh, program will be useful so uh, please have a look yeah, at yeah, uh, the, have a look at the um, course structure and uh, see if if um, you, uh, you like it um, and uh, then um, then um, once you are in that uh, you know uh, mix of learning and you know doing things uh, you yourself will uh, appreciate more on what is devops what is uh, yeah. sre and then um, and we, uh, there is also help available to um, update your resume in a manner that companies will be calling you for interview. Once you get into interview, you are doing hands-on project will give you confidence to clear the interview. But getting interview call, the resume, and also the LinkedIn profile, everything has to be uh, very good. So did you see my LinkedIn profile? I, I didn't see your LinkedIn profile. I'll have a look. Um, yeah, please have a look at that. Yeah, I'll have a look. Uh, also, you say you. I see um, you have the uh, GitHub creator, right? Do you have any? Yeah, I, I, yeah. I will upload some uh, some practice code into my GitHub. Yes. So yes. Take, a, take a look on that. Yes. Yeah, Definitely. Yeah. That that's really that's, that's what a, we want. Um, um, that's a practice. Any, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, have, I have practice on that uh, Jenkins, Docker, Swarm, Kubernetes, Ansible, yeah. uh, Python integration. Something. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question. On, yes, ma'am. What are the most popular tools to, we have to learn to get into the job into in the office? Uh, look, there, there's no one popular tool that you can learn and get the yeah. um, inter interview. Uh, you definitely need to know one cloud flavor, AWS, Azure, or GCP. Uh, AWS is the most uh, popular. Azure is uh, second best. Uh, um, both are really good. So um, uh, you need to know a uh, cloud. Uh, that's the uh, most uh, basic thing. Then uh, you need to know uh, uh, any scripting language, anyone, uh, which will help you. As a DevOps engineer, you are supposed to be automating um, stuff, that, everything. So you need to know um, uh, a scripting language. Python is the most uh, uh, popular. Um, JavaScript second pop most popular. Um, and then um, once you uh, once you appreciate uh, the um, uh, the deployment uh, channels, you 
you see there are a lot of tools available um, in the market uh, which can do the uh, CI/CD pipelines, right? One is uh, Bitbucket, um, uh, Jenkins, and uh, recently uh, the GitOps where, uh, things have uh, come up. So we have Argo CD. So there are a lot of tools. Um, once you understand the um, the foundation, um, it's very easy to move between tools. Okay. So um, when it comes to infrastructure, so code, you have uh, uh, Terraform, um, Ansible, call formation, etc. But um, no. like I said, I'm not. yes, I'm there. I'm there. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. I'm not. Can I you didn't see you. I can hear you and. Uh, yeah, I hear you, you but yeah, I can't. I think yeah, uh, my I, video I, I is still on. You. Okay, I think my video is still on. Okay, it might yeah. be an issue with the internet at um, uh, internet. That's okay. Um, so yeah, I was saying, I was saying, there's no one tool that uh, you need to you can learn and uh, uh, get a you know job. Uh, unfortunately, you need to understand the um, you need to learn a lot of tools. But in the, if you understand the found foundation of the DevOps, the principles. Uh, moving between tools are easy. All right. So once you learn uh, Jenkins, you see you can easily move to uh, Bitbucket. Once you learn Ansible, uh, same. Cloud formation, you can switch around, switch between tools. That's that's uh, that's, uh, that's easy. But you need to at least learn one. Mother, are you there? I didn't Mother. hear your voice. Uh, okay. I didn't hear your voice. Okay. Uh, I think uh, it's an uh, internal, internal, internal problem. Okay. It might be a, a problem, but I think I. Yeah. Uh, there's no issue from my end. I can uh, hear and. Uh, I think uh, it's, it's my internet company is not stable. Okay. Yeah, okay. Sorry for the That's okay. Um, so, um, Mother, um, have a. Um, uh, have a look. Have a think about uh, whatever we have discussed. Um, have a look at uh, the mentorship program and uh, see if it can uh, help you. Yeah, okay. And reach reach out to yeah, us. I, I go through. Yeah. And all the best. And uh, hope we will talk soon. Yeah. Uh, can you please uh, share my recording to myself? Can we'll you do. please share my recording? We'll do, Mother. Yeah, we'll I, do. I, I visit will uh, through mail or WhatsApp. Uh, let me see. Um, let me see. I'll, I'll um, see what we can do. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, how can I connect with you? Uh, do you have any LinkedIn profile? To... I'm there in that uh, WhatsApp group. Yeah. Yeah. Do you and, share uh, my? Do you share your uh, LinkedIn profile? I'll I'll say, share my email ID. Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, through email, I will connect with you. Yeah. I'll, sure. I'll, uh, yeah, you can email it to me, and uh, once you are in the um, um, in the group, uh, I'll I'll share the link in because this goes yeah. to yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It's good. Thanks, Father. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet Bye. you. Bye. Bye.